It's a little chilly out, but this is the best planting conditions we've had in a couple years. I'm gonna go ahead and put some seed in the ground. It's gonna be the best stand ever. I haven't given Iowa any rain in like two weeks. Yes, apparently it's hard work freezing out an entire Midwest through the month of April and Mother Nature took a nap, finally woke up and gave us some rain this last weekend. So I wanted to talk about the implications of the weather patterns that we've had and what it's doing to our stands right now. So these are the daily precipitation maps for Dubuque, Iowa for the months of April and May. I want you to focus on the blue bars and the blue lines. The blue bar shows how much it rained on a certain day and the blue line is the accumulated precipitation for the entire month. As you can see, in the month of April, there was only one significant rainfall event of just over an inch on April 10th. Dubuque did not see any precipitation from April 11th until about a small quarter inch on May 3rd and no meaningful precipitation until May 7th, 8th this last weekend when there was finally just over an inch. The bulk of the early planted, both corn and soybeans, started around April 20th. Now, it's not because we were too wet from that early April rain, it's because we had dried out and we were waiting for a warming trend. Um, many soils were dry and we were only finding moisture, particularly in the tilled fields, um, at about the two and a half to three inch depth. And it continued to dry as we went on. So corn and soybeans planted on April 20th in this area didn't receive any rainfall for 17 days. That's why we're seeing such uneven emergence. So uneven moisture distribution through the field and through the soil profile. So some seeds found enough moisture on day one and those are the ones that were able to start that germination process and the ones that we're seeing about V1 right now while others sat in completely dry soil and weren't able to soak up enough more, uh, moisture for germination until this last rain on May 7th and 8th, this last weekend. So that's why we're seeing a lot of variability, um, but also in addition to lack of the moisture inhibiting the germination process, it also led to some, uh, some chilling injury. So dry soils, uh, fluctuate in temperature more quickly than wet soils because it takes um, it takes more more energy or more lack of energy to warm and cool wet soils it's easier to fluctuate temperatures in air when we have dry fluffy soil so we're also getting some uh, cool overnight temperatures uh, more cool down and a little bit of that chilling injury. So because of these factors, um, I do think that a lot of our later planted corn and soybeans, basically they got planted closer to this last precipitation event and it was warmer. I think we're gonna see our better stands in this later planted stuff. So uh, just wanted to compress what we've got going on right now. Call, text, or email with questions, send those pictures.